everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and today I have for you guys one of the most exciting things that I've done in a very long time. Pixelmon. I could not be more happy to bring you all the first episode of this brand new series. And if you want to play along with me, you can go over to play.pokelb.com to try it out. Now, I'm playing on server one at the moment over there, but I'll be live streaming periodically, which means probably a couple times a week over on server number two. So I'm very, very excited for that. This is going to be a great time, and uh, we, we've just spent a lot of effort, time, energy, everything, and bringing this to you all because we know how much you're going to be excited for this and just how cool it'll be to do a series with my fans actively in it like look I don't know that guy in real life I don't know any of these people in real life except bacon man that's pretty cool I like bacon I ate that for breakfast this morning but but I don't know bacon man so the point is this is really cool and I'm playing with my best friends my fans so I couldn't be happier so the way this server works just to give you a little background before we start on our adventure is this server has a little bit of a towny system in it where pretty much if you have a golden shovel you can click on a piece of land just way off in the wilderness obviously not in the main starting area and it'll provide you with a house from there you're able to go explore around you can start catching pokemon training your pokemon and get ready because for now we only have the first 151 pokemon released however in the first update coming in about a week or two we're going to be expanding to do all second generation pokemon as well the catch is you need at least one level 75 pokemon to gain access to it so it's going to take a little bit of time and training, but if you're good enough, then you can access the second area, and then after that, the third area, and so on and so forth as we keep adding them. So, without further ado, let's get on to our adventure. I started off myself with a Charmander, and also I used the uh, Slash Kit Starter to allow me to get 10 Pokeballs, and two Ultra Balls were given to me by random fans like you out there that are just running around me right here. They're very nice to give me that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, and we're actually going to fly off into the distance to try and find for ourselves house. Alright, so if you didn't know, Slash Fly is a donator's perk that you can grab on this server, which is really awesome. And we're going to go fly on over right here and take a look. Right off of spawn is where the Pokemart is. So if you ever need to sell off any of your Pokey items so you can get some more money for them and buy more Pokeballs or things, this is the place to go. Now the server is in survival mode, so you can purchase, or not purchase, you can actually build Great Balls, Ultra Balls, any kind of special capturing Pokeballs you want, you can catch. And of course, along the way, you might find find yourself some really cool houses or structures. Now some fans went for more basic houses like this one, where they can grow their apricorns up top to help make them some more pokeballs, and other ones decided to make some really awesome temple-like structures, like this one right here. It's completely cool. So I'm gonna keep flying off in this direction, and let's see, where's a good place? Oh, look at that! Someone already built a bridge over to this area. You know what? I'm gonna lay claim... Let's see, where's a good place? Ooh! I mean, right down here is a nice little plateau. I think... Honestly, right around here is where I'm going to claim my bit of land. All right, so we found our area. Let's go ahead. We'll right-click right there with a golden shovel. We'll right-click over here as well. And boom, claim created. That means that in this area right here, th th this is my this is basically my house. So as long as I build within this area here, nobody can touch my land, which is pretty cool. So this is all mine from now on. This is where I'll be building my home. If you want to join me and build your houses around here, be my guest. It'll be pretty dang cool. Uh, and let's Let's see, we have that right there to stack up. I'm just trying to make sure before the gold blocks disappear, because they don't stay there forever. So you just want to kind of make sure you mark it off so that, you know, you have a little memory of it. There we go. So now we know exactly where my home is. From here, I think it'd be really awesome if we went around, maybe into the wilderness and trained a little bit, maybe caught some new Pokemon along the way, and just overall had a fun time. I, I think it'd be a very fun thing to do. So let's see. What level are you, Macho? Level 29, Macho? Oh, but that level 5 Pidgey, though. I want to try and catch him. Where? Did the Machoke just kill that Pidgey? That was going to be my first Pokemon! Machoke! Come on, dude! You, you can't just swoop or, or just, you can't just wiggle woogly over there and, and kill him. Oh my gosh, that Onyx. Okay, this could be cool. This could be really cool. What level are you? Okay. Oh god, is that say level 20? Oh, it's level 26. Okay, I thought that was level 2 for a second. I was like, yeah! Let's get him! But it was level 26. That is a very high level Hitmonchan. We might try and use one of our Ultra Balls on them later, because there is a small chance you can randomly catch them just by throwing an Ultra Ball at them. Uh, all right, this per oh, that person's already training. All right, let's go and challenge this Machop here. Come on. All right, level 5. Shouldn't be too hard to catch, right? I'm going to growl just to lower his attack down here, because I know for a fact he's going to be coming after me. And, oh yeah, good call. Look at that. He used a low kick right there. All right, there we go. Scratch again. 
Oh my gosh, we can do this. We can do this. We might catch our first Pokemon. I'm literally so excited right now. All right, all right. Oh my god, he's almost in the red. He's almost in the red. And then once he's in the red, don't faint him, don't faint him. Yes! There we go! All right, Charmander! Pokeball! Come on! Charmander! All right. Okay, the ball's wiggling. Yes! Yes! We caught Machop! We did it! We did it! We caught a Pokemon! Oh my god! Well, it looks like now we have two Pokemon to deal with. So, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, now this Onyx over here. What level are you, buddy? Are you level... I wish, I wish the Onyx wasn't so large you could see. Okay, I saw like a 20 or a 30 in there, so definitely not him. Let's fly off away from here and try and find a new place to catch her some Pokemon. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, not seeing anything. Oh, look at this. Did someone like build like a proper village over here? What the heck? Okay, then. Or is this... You know what? This might be randomly generated by the game. I think... No, wait. This is someone's house, actually. Wow. Well, they made it very far. They have a Poke Healer. Ah! Oh, I can't use their Poke Healer. Oh, no. So sad. So sad. All right. Here's a forest area. Let's see if we can find some kind of a low-level Pokemon here. I'm sure I'll find a lot of bug-type Pokemon, like Caterpies or Metapods or... Uh our uh, Weedles. Keep in mind, it's only first-gen Pokemon on this server, so it might be a little tougher to come across Pokemon, uh, just because there's not, like, a wide variety of them from, like, five generations, but you'll find them out here. Oh, they're out here, all right. Hiding in the shadows. Dun, 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 dun. By the way, someone was nice enough to give us a black apricorn, so we could plant that back at our house so that we could start the process of uh, actually using that for Ultra Balls, believe it or not. That's what they're good for. All right, so let's collect up these apricorns here. We got one black one. Uh, that one apparently is not anything. Someone already took that. Oh, there's a red one right here. Perfect. Get a little bit of every single color one. That way we can build any kind of Pokeballs that we want. Because there's not just Pokeball, Great Ball, and Ultra Ball out there. There's also like Fast Balls. There's Lure Balls. A lot of different ones from the game that pretty much just have different effects on the Pokemon after they're caught. Like a Friend Ball, for instance, which makes the Pokemon uh, more friendly and more happy. Which is very good for evolving some like Eevee into, say, Espeon or Umbreon. And then you have other ones that help in the actual capture process themselves. Like, for instance, a Dive Ball or a Lure ball which would be good for water type pokemon so a little bit of you know you, you know now you know facts but let's go around the area here also for donators they get access to a perk called slash p heal and it'll actually heal up your pokemon no matter where you are so you don't have to keep going all the way back to the town center you can just heal up and keep going on your adventure it makes things a lot more convenient i'm not going to really take advantage of anything too seriously like in terms of uh like different types of pokemon or anything like that or when lucky blocks are implemented uh, abusing that i'm really just gonna probably use slash fly and slash p heal that's personally what I'm going to be using for this series. I don't want to make it too crazy. So, let's see, let's see. Oh, another person's house over there. I want to get another bat. Wait, is that, is that? <gasps> a level 10 Voltorb. Oh my gosh, it is so on. I'm going to need this because I'm going to be battling Tootie in about 5-10 minutes. And I really want to be able to beat him. So, here we go. Come on. Hit him hard. Oh, good kick. Good kick, Machop. Oh, bad. Very bad, Machop. But you, you died. You died, Machop. Oh my gosh, he literally just, he just fainted both of them, like, instantly. Okay, well, I'm gonna give it one more go on him, but I'm not leaving until I catch him, so. Oh my gosh, he is good. Alright, even though he's still in the green for health, we don't really have a choice here. Let's just go with the Pokeball. Come on, let's catch him. I want to catch three Pokemon in Episode 1 and get at least two of my Pokemon to level 10. Oh my gosh, he broke out of there. He literally just broke right out of there. All right, Pokeball time. Whoa! This dude next to us has a Pidgeot? Some of you guys are really high-leveled. I might have to do some training off camera or something. This is... Oh! Yes! We caught a Voltorb! All right, so now we have a level 5 Machop and a level 10 Voltorb. That's so cool. What's that? Oh, level 28 Raticate. Yeah, no chance of us catching that. Level 20-something Arbok. Same thing to you. No, no chance of catching either of you. Um, 
All right, let's keep looking off in this area here. There's got to be at least one more Pokemon that we can find out here. I'm just I'm just so excited right now. And then also, I'm going to do a fan battle as well. So in this series, at the end of every episode, I'm going to face off against one of my friends, like Tootie or Ben, for at least one battle. And then I'm going to face off against the fan for another battle. So let's catch one more Pokemon, and then we're going to join up with Tootie, and we'll do some training while talking to him, and then we'll do the battle right afterward. It's going to be fun, but first things first. Let's find where that last Pokemon is. Alright, so I'm going for a big grab here. I found a level 15 Oddish that I want to try and catch. Uh, I know that's asking for a lot, considering, like, none of our Pokemon are anywhere near his level. But we're going to give it a go anyway. Oh my gosh. No way. No way. We already brought him down to yellow. Can we... Alright, you know what? He's in the yellow. I'm going for it now. Here we go. Pokeball. If we can catch a level 15 Oddish as our third Pokemon, there's no way Tootie's going to beat us when we're training. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that takes out two goals in one. I just wanted one Pokemon over level 10. We caught him. Oh my gosh. So now we have two level 5s, a level 10, and a level 15. And keep in mind, we're going to make it a goal to try and catch every single Pokemon, obviously. So this is good. This is a very good start. I'm going to join into a separate recording group right now. So I'm going to join in there and talk to Tootie. Catch the level hey, Tootie! Oh my god! Extra roll, what are you doing here? Loud noises! That's very loud noises! What are you doing? Drum, are you playing too? Yeah, yeah, I'm playing around right now. I uh, figured we'd just hang out and talk for a little while, and uh, in the meantime, just train some Pokemon and do a battle in like five minutes. Cool, yeah, okay, you know, the craziest thing happened. There was a level 33 Machoke, right? And I was just running yeah. along, and I was like, oh, that's like a 33 Machoke. I'll just throw one of my Pokeballs at it, and I caught it. With a Pokeball? With just a plain Pokeball, a level 33 Machoke. Okay, see, I'm not going to be able to catch uh, uh, anything level 33, so... That was, it was insane, because I was battling it, and I just <laughs> threw my Pokeball at it, because it was either, I couldn't, I'd die if I attacked it. So I was like, I'll just throw a Pokeball at it, and I caught it, and it was like, are you kidding me? So now I'm running okay. around with a level 33 Machoke. Great, well, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled right now and hope that I can randomly throw an Ultra Ball at a really high-level Pokemon and feel bad about myself. You got an Ultra Ball? How'd you get an Ultra Ball? I, want I got two of them. I don't know if it's some fan puked them on me. He's like, bleh, bleh, and he just threw up two Ultra Balls on me. They're kind of nasty. I had to wash them off first, but they're usable. Well, I have this one guy following me around on his Zapdos, and then I have a Bacon guy. He, he, he's, a, he's Bacon, and he's following me on a Blastoise. Wow, Tootie, your adventures are, uh, something else there, I say. Grand, grand, the Tootie's Grand Adventure, that's, that's what this is called. Great. Well, right. I, I'm about to catch a level 21 Geodude, maybe. Oh, that'd be really good for you. Maybe you, maybe you can learn Explosion. No, Tootie, stop with your Explosion! Maybe, oh my good, oh, never mind. No! Oddish one-shotting him, why? What? You have an Oddix? Oddish. Oh, odd-ish. I was, I was, that's a little less intimidating. Yeah, that would have been pretty funny if you bit. had one, though. Pretty funny. Uh, so, it's okay. I found something a little bigger. Uh, how? Oh, it's a Geodude! Yep, I found a Graveler. Ooh, I got a Geodude. Okay. Um. He avoided the attack. I don't know what kind of weapon. I, I think I'm going to one-shot him. Oh, great. Oh, I one-shotted him. You one shot of the Geodude too? Yeah, I mean, you have to remember, I have a level 33 Machoke. What is that? What is level what? Oh my goodness. What'd you find? It's a level 33 Clefairy. 34, I'm sorry. Tootie, why you gotta do this? I might be able to capture him. It'd be crazy if I can. All uh, right. uh, I'm going after this level 28 Graveler. Because here's his level, what was it, 35 Machoke? 33 Machoke. See your fight. Yes, I caught him. No way. Really? What a good episode so far for me. Yeah, the problem is I caught him, but you're a fighting type with Machoke, and this is a rock type, so I'm still gonna have a lot of trouble with this battle. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I, I caught the Clefairy with just a normal Pokeball. How wait, do you wait. get this lucky? I did capture it. Oh, that I saw the, this guy threw a Kadabra out, and I thought it was a wild Kadabra, and I was about to just be like, oh yes. No. How are you getting this good, Tootie? How, how, how'd you get this good? How do you, you get, get that good? How do you get that good? It's just lots of uh, practice and, and luck. A lot of luck. 
I'm gonna try and I wanna see if I can make it a goal of mine to eventually catch the first 150 Pokemon. That would be so cool. Wanna have a challenge so you can do it first? Oh, we could. I vote we do that for our live streaming series. The live streaming series who can catch all all of them? I'm down yeah. with that. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Oh man. Alright. Um I don't see Oh wait, wait, what's in here? What's in here? Oh, it's a dandelion. Dandelion I'm on. Dan that's a that's a dandelion mon. <laughs> dandelion mon's serious, dude. Don't mess around with dandelion no, mon. Yeah, he he uh, evolves into a sunflower person. Alright, I have a strat. I wanna get my Machop and my Charmander to level ten at least, so I'm gonna try and power level them really quick. There's a there's a level forty one Clefairy. There's no way I can fight that. I'm or you can just throw a ball at it and catch it like every other Pokemon. <laughs> okay, okay, to be fair, that was with the Machoke. Clefairy, I actually fought it with my Machoke down to yellow health, so... I'm not buying it, Tootie. <laughs> I'm not buying your shenanigans. Alright, so Tootie TP'd over to me, and we just found a oh Snorlax. Drum, do you want to fight it, or did you, you go for it, Drum? I'm going in, Tootie. I'm going in. Oddish, Stun Spore! Oh my you god, he's paralyzed. Drum. Oh my god, he's paralyzed. Why or how? Okay. All right, Ultra Ball. Oh my god, dude. If I catch a level 45 Snorlax in the first I'm episode... Gonna, I'm gonna die, Jerome. No. Oh. No, no he broke free after all of that. Uh, I actually thought I had him for a second. I thought you did too. That would have been insane, Jerome. I got a, I got a Heavy Ball. How does a Heavy Ball work? <gasps> does Pikachu be on my... Oh my... You have a Heavy Ball? From what? I don't know. A, a fan saw me and he just spit it out. Blah! And I was like, okay. Thank you. It helps you catch heavier Pokemon, as you could probably have assumed by the name. Is that how it works? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Oh, no. Wait, no, 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 there's, free, there's Pikachu. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, dude. Tootie? Did you, no way, you didn't capture it. I, no, I'm so ridiculously close. There's no... He's in the red, and he's paralyzed. You this can happen. I'm using the rest of my Pokeballs and Ultra Balls on this. No, Jerome, don't, don't, I think that's a waste. Tootie, oh my god, he broke out of the Pokeball. Okay, okay, here we go. Ultra Ball, come on, come on. Level 45 in the red, paralyzed. This is as good of an opportunity as I'm ever going to get. Come on, come on, that's come on, get out of here! Did you get it? Get out of here right now! Drum, did you did you actually just capture a level 46? Did I ever capture one, Tootie? Did oh. I ever? Drum, that's so nasty. Oh my god! Jerome, calm down. Tootie, that, I'm literally I have the biggest smile right now. You don't is, even understand. That is insane. A level 46 <laughs> on the first ep. I Am I, I wanna. Am I a Pokemon champion yet? Yeah. Did I Jerome. win, Dade? Yeah, you you win life, Jerome. You I win did. life. I did. It, I wanna I wanna capture this Pikachu so badly. I am just so like this is just too much. This is all too, too much it's, it's, right now. Jerome, I'm gonna ca I think I can capture this Pikachu. You know I'm on a heater. I'm gonna go after. There we go, a Pidgey. All right. You know what? I'm on a catching heater. I'm gonna catch this Pidgey too. I'm using all my Pokeballs this episode. I don't care what anyone says. You can't stop uh, me. I fainted the Pikachu. I used double slap and it just died. Oh, Rats. why'd you do that? Because why? Well, I, I didn't because I couldn't capture it with the Pokeballs that I had and it just died. So I'm, now I'm sad. Bad. How do you? Can you make XP shares in survival? How do you do that? You have to find them from boss battles or random Poke loot chests. They're extremely rare, as you could probably ooh. assume. Yeah, that's. Ooh, I need to figure out. How, I need to get one. But I, I guess it's just pure luck. Is this your house, Jerome? No, I don't have a house. I just have a claimed land. Oh, this, this, this is. I this figured I'd build that house. in episode two. I, I just wanted to catch Pokemon this episode. Yeah, same here. I was just wondering if you had built one yet. I'm just wondering. I'm, I don't know where I want to have my house, Jerome. I want to have a house, but I don't know where I want my house to be. Do I want to well, have I'm a sky not sure, base? But I now have seven Pokemans. Do you really? I only have three at the moment, so. All right, options, chat settings, chat shown, slash P heal. All right, Tootie, I found a level 40 electrode. No, Jerome, no. I'm not trying to catch him. I just want to hurt him. Okay, so I, I, did, I just did slash uh, kit starter, because you can use starter once a day, correct, to be able to get 
I think it's once Pokeballs? every three days. Once the... every, I think yeah. that yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. So I got I have twelve Pokeballs now because I was I was down to two, which was I was kind of sweating there. All right, I just used Yawn on Electrode. Okay. Okay. There we and, go. Drum, I think we can have multiple, if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we can have multiple houses. So we can, like, I can do slash set, uh. Can we really? Yeah, so I think we can do, um, slash set home one and then slash set home two. So we can actually set homes in both of our houses so we can freely teleport between our homes. Oh, great. So Tootie can just come visit anytime he wants. That's right, Drum. I can just come visit you whenever I want. <sighs> This guy has a Poke Healer inside of his house. Yeah, I've seen someone with that already. How crazy is that? That's insane. So he must have found a, uh, what you might call it? A diamonds. Thingy. Wait, diamonds? You need diamonds to make it, yeah. I thought, or can't you just find a thing, a, uh, a Poke Center and take it out? I don't think you can break them and move them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I have one Pokeball left. I'm gonna throw it randomly at this bell sprout here and hope I catch it. Uh, it's been a great episode of catching. I got my Charmander up to level 13. I think I've done everything that I could have wanted, except I might try and power level my Machop one time really quick. Okay. And see how that works. And then after that, I'm gonna be ready for our big battle, Tootie. And then I'm gonna battle a fan, like one of you all out there, and then get him in the video. So that's gonna be extremely exciting. It's going to be really cool indeed. I'm trying to... I want a water-type Pokemon. And I think Lapras is going to be our best bet here. Is he... Wait, is he in Gen 1? Lapras? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right, right, right. He's in Gen 1. 2D. I, I, get, I get confused sometimes. I'm sorry. There's so many. They just, they just all get mixed together. Lapras is like a classic staple. I like staples. It's a good store. That is a good store. Completely <laughs> unrelated, but... Oh, random forest fire! Lol. Maybe you can find like a blaze again. That would be so cool if certain Pixelmon could only spawn during events like a forest fire or something. That would actually be super cool. So like there's like a chance to spawn a Moltres if you have a big enough fire or something going. Exactly. That would be really cool indeed. One I, day. I just found somebody's random crafting table. Just in the middle oh. of nowhere. Good. Good. <laughs> Leave it there in case they ever come back, but... Where is... I probably should be like... Because I've never played Pixelmon in a survival aspect. So... I'm not exactly sure what to do here. You'll have to you'll have to help me out. Because I've never done like the mining and everything. I'm so used to doing like an adventure map or just the lucky blocks or something. Yeah, I'll walk you through it one day. It's, it's really easy. You use the apricorns. Or the apricorns, as me and Mitch used to call them. Uh, and then from there, you, you just make pokebales. And you need aluminum as well. Alum aluminum? Yes, aluminum. Great. All right, after this little battle here, Tootie, I'm going to be ready to go. Uh, I have... I'm, I'm doing pretty well. The problem with my Snorlax that I caught is he knows no attacks that can do damage, so go figure. <laughs> Fantastic. We need to... Oh, I wonder if there's a way to find a move relearner. Do they randomly spawn? I actually don't know. <gasps> I found an Ultra Ball on the ground, which is a loot chest. Double team! That does no damage. I was really hoping it would be a TM that does damage. I could give it to my Snorlax. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, Drum. Oh, All what's right. that? Well, Tootie, if you want a TPA to me, I am ready to battle if you are. And by the way, slash P heal is one word, is the way to uh, heal up your Pokemon. This is it now. Slash P heal. Hey! Tootie successfully healed his Pokemans. All right, Tootie. Well, let's mix up the order Drum, of our look, Pokemon. Drum, look, it's a Moltres! Ah, you made me look. That, that's a Fearow. Tootie, you're nasty. I'm, All right, pick a number between one and six. Uh, five pick number seven. Tootie. Isn't this off to a great start, Jerome? Easy, a great start. <laughs> I'll pick number two, Jerome. All right, I pick number four for you. Uh, but I don't have that many Pokemans. Oh, okay, number one. Okay, let's right. you ready? Three, two, one, let's go! That that's my Pokemon. Where it Wait, where is he? Where'd you run? What the oh, heck's that... going on? Audition. There he is! There he is! What the heck was that? He, I thought he was blending in with the grass. I was <laughs> like, wow, he's really blending in there, Jerome. <laughs> oh jeez, alright, well that, that that was an easy one. Uh -oh. I have a bad feeling though about your other two. 
Yeah, this will be this will be interesting. This will be an interesting fight. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yes. I want to. Wasn't see even this... necessary. He's not even gonna do any damage, Tootie. Can, oh wait, can I? I want to see if this works. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, that's, no. you, you're nasty, Jerome. He you're broke nasty. out of it to paralyze you. Mmm. But I still double slapped you anyway. Slap, slap. All right. Well, get him, Graveler. Okay. You got him right where you want him. Come on. Oh, it's not very effective. Okay. Okay. Come on, Graveler. This will be a good attempt to get some free levels, bud. Come on, wake up, slap, do something. Ah, oh, now the paralyzation got to me in the end. Yeah! Got Graveler to level 29. Machoke. Okay, I see your Machoke. I see him. Alrighty, come on. Come on, Machoke. Oh my gosh, no. Ooh. Oh! The win of dreams! No way! What nobody thought was possible! You, Dr Jerome, you got a... Magnitude 10 crit? <laughs> N in no sense is that okay. None. Not, well, not, no, no. Bad, bad Jerome. Bad. All right. Well, it looks like Tootie and I are done battling. I'm going to go ahead and find for myself a trainer back at spawn that I can help duel. All right, so I found the first trainer I could at spawn completely at random, and now I'm facing off against a fan. Let's see how well I can stand off against players in this server. Once again, completely random. Literally, I threw my Oddish out, and they just decided to, to, to fight. So here we go. What are they going to do? Oh my gosh, no. That Charmander could be so deadly to Oddish if he was just a little bit higher level. Because then he would... Oh my, Mewtwo! That's so cool! Well, I was going to say if he's a little bit higher level, because then he totally would know Ember and just be able to one shot him. He does know Ember! Maybe he just wasn't doing a lot of damage then. Alright, here we go. Hit him with Rock Throw! Come on, Graveler! There we go, one down. Who's next? He's got five Pokemon, so he's bound to have someone pretty good in there. Lo and behold, he does! Okay, we got a fight then! We've got a little bit of a fight here. No, we don't have a fight. He totally just demolished them. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead, Snorlax. Use Yawn on this guy. If only you knew an attack, you'd be literally unstoppable. But you don't, because you're, you're nasty. Um, what does Amnesia do? I can't remember. I know there's a status thingy to myself, but he just switched out his Pokemon. Okay. Well, time to Yawn, then. There we go. You're drowsy now, Pikachu. Your game is up. Time to switch out Voltorb. Man, I hope I can get a TM at some point. I really do. For my Snorlax. I might off camera keep searching until I find a TM. Alright. There we go. Come on, Voltorb. Take this guy's Pidgey out of here. Yes. One in the bag. Or two in the bag, actually. Alright, who's he using next? Full picks. Very good pick. Very good pick. I like Sonic Boom because it does automatic 20 damage, no matter how much, you know, like, a power or anything he has. So, at least you know what you're getting every time. All right, here we go, Voltorb. Now's your time. Stay alive. Another one falls to Voltorb. Man, Voltorb is so good. Uh, Alakazam. A level 19 Alakazam? Don't you think that's a little much, bud? Oh, my God, he just one shot at him. Why or how? How did he get this? Alright, Karate Chop time! Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do here. Oddish! Oh my gosh! He keeps one-shotting everything! Alright, Snorlax. This is your only chance to prove yourself. Alright, use Yawn. Yes, he became drowsy. Alright, perfect. I'll just belly drum for the sake of belly drumming. Oh, he switched out there. There we go. Uh, yawn again. Wow, Horsey did a little bit of damage there. Alright, there we go. We'll just yawn again. Oh my gosh. He can't, he's gotta eventually stop. He's not gonna be able to keep doing this. Alright, perfect. Oh my gosh, he killed him. I think we might lose our first fan battle ever. I think that's what's gonna happen. 
I mean, I can't blame us. We've only been on the server for like an hour, so we did the best we could here. Okay, well, at least Alakazam is still sleeping. No, I didn't mean to use Tackle. Ah, it wouldn't matter. He broke free anyway. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it right there. That is the first episode of this Pixelmon series. If you all enjoyed, be sure to click that like button, as well as subscribe for more awesome Pixelmon gameplay. Thanks for watching, my friends.